Hi all, uh, thank you for joining. In today's session, we are going to see how we can uh, set up a JSS, uh, Sitecore JSS project in disconnected mode. So Sitecore JSS SDK comes with a popular front-end framework uh, such as React.js and Next.js. In today's session, I am going to show how we can create a JSS app based on React.js. So uh, Sitecore JSS comes up with a code first workflow that is to develop in disconnected mode. Code first workflow is recommended when you are in the early prototype phase design where Sitecore instance is not available yet or the primary developers within the team are JS developers or the UI developers are not having their own Sitecore instance. So Sitecore JSS SDK comes with Sitecore CLI based command like tool that we are going to see in our we do have some prerequisite that you should have a node.js installed on your machine you should have a visual studio code and also you should have a windows powershell 5 installed so let's try to install them on node.js.org website and download section so I'm installing it on Windows. I will click on uh, this 64-bit uh, .msi installer. So I have already downloaded it. Now let's see. Uh, I will install it now. So Node.js has been installed on our machine. So we will click on finish. Okay. So we can open a document how to create a Sitecore JSS app. Uh, over the browser and we need to open windows powershell in administration mode then we need to write out the command of uh, which is npm install global site for jss cli and press enter so this will install the site for jss uh, uh, jss cli for you in your machine it takes around a few minutes of time maybe a minute or so so right now I am seeing that it is asking, asking me to either depreciate my Sitecore JSS CLI or uh, I have to use uh, the other command it's called npm init earlier we were able to create using JSS create and uh, your uh, JSS app name but now uh, with this newer JSS CLI we need to install uh, I mean we, we can create an app by using npm uh, init and initializing sitecore JSS. now it's asking me to <clears throat> it's asking me the template which i am going to use so i am going to use react for my application so i will select react now it's asking uh, me the folder path where i need to uh, create the project uh, so i will provide the folder path which is in my project JSS project uh, you can also find out from your folder structure and you can write it down uh, here uh, if you will type the same or you can paste it also so i will write c then projects and jss uh, project so it's asking me that where i want my project to be created if you will not mention anything it will take the same path and will create a folder react extra react folder it's asking me the application name so jss demo dot prj and um, it's asking me the host name so host name i can find uh, from my sitecore 10 installation so i have installed sitecore 10 on my machine and if i go into the bindings i can see the default url uh, which has been created for my sitecore uh, 10 installation so i will write this okay i have pro provided my sitecore host name now next option is about whether i want to use rest or graphql so i will use rest here and uh, next is it's asking me about the language apart from english default language which i want to install so i have clicked enter and by default it it has taken german language as my secondary language and once you click enter the entire process is very smooth and the project creation will happen in the background so when you will check after the installation is complete 
यू विल बी एबल टू सी अ कंप्लीट प्रोजेक्ट सॉल्यूशन रिएक्ट जेएसएस प्रोजेक्ट साइट को रिएक्ट डाउनलोडेड फाइल इज अराउंड थ्री हंड्रेड एम बी सो इट टेक समाइम टू गेट एवरीथिंग सेटअप एंड डन एंड रेडी सो लेट्स वेट फॉर अ सेकेंड प्रोबेबली इट विल गेट रेडी in a few seconds so yeah the site is and the installation is done now you can see the installation is complete so now i can do a jss start here is the project it's uh, here all uh, the required files are here all right so i can do a jss start here and this will start the node server and we will be in disconnected mode and we were we able to see the default content which is uh, has been created from the site code jss cli okay right so server is starting so if you see here uh there is some uh, build error and the server was not able to start this is because i have the latest node js version if you are facing the same issue you can uh, depreciate your node version go to the node version which is into 16 series i mean lower than 17 and install the latest node version that you have used and uh, install the older version prior to 17 and again do a js start so it will take some seconds and the issue will get resolved you will see a full fledged site code jss page on the port number 3000 so the url will be local host 3000 and uh, you will be able to see the default page so now the server is getting started so the issue has been resolved and now you will see the page is getting loaded since it's the first time so it takes a uh, few seconds to get the default page loaded but hopefully we will get it up and running very soon so now we can see the default uh, pages of our first react jss app is up and running on port number 3000 so this is how we do the installation uh, or creation of uh, a site for jss app hope you have liked the video and the session do keep on watching the other videos in the playlist thank you for joining me over this video